I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. with Alexander. Welcome. You're headlining on Saturday night. How important is this fight and the fact that you're going to be headlining the show in front of a sold-out crowd? What's so important is the fight? It seems very important because I'm going to fight in a promotor with a lot of Edificio de mucha importancia a la promotora de Provelu. Me da gusto estar en Inglaterra nuevamente, es la tercera vez que vengo. Daré lo mejor de mí y espero que sea una pelea bastante limpia. Vengo bastante fuerte, bastante técnico y daré lo mejor de mí. Y que el público será el que está, eh, estará bastante complacido en vernos pelear. He said he's, um, he's really happy to be here. He's happy that he, he Pro Bellum looks looked after him. And um, he's been here before in the Olympics before, so he said every fight he has is very important, so this is just as important. And what do you know and what do you make of your opponent, Ethan Grail? What do you think of your opponent? Well, I think he's a boxer very Olympic. Es, es bueno, es fuerte, pero yo traigo lo mío, creo que vengo a hacer lo que otros no le han hecho a él, yo daré pelea. He said he's very strong, but he, at the end of the day it's just a fight. And he said he's like, he's been in the Olympics, so, like, he knows, he knows about hard fights, you know. Peter currently is 4-0 into his professional career, so he's very new to the pro ranks. You're very experienced. Do you feel like your experience as a pro in the ring is just going to prove too much for Peter on Saturday night. Peter tiene 4-0 años de experiencia y se va a hacer demasiado para Peter. Bueno, él tiene poca experiencia en boxeo profesional. Es la que yo traigo, boxeo profesional, y creo que le voy a complicar bastante la noche y creo que me voy a llevar la victoria. También le daré bastante de lo mío. Yo tengo mucha experiencia y eso creo que me va a privilegiar a mí. He said he's got a lot of experience here, like you said, and you think yeah, it will be too much. But he's not trying to overcomplicate it, he just says that he's going to be the one who wins. Okay. Peter, over to you. You are headlining for the first time. He's stepping up 4-0. There's not many fighters who can say on their fifth professional fight that they are headlining the show. How much of a big deal is Saturday night for you? Yeah, look, it's, um, as you said, my fifth fight headlining my first bill. Alongside uh, <coughs> loads of scouts that have boxed on bills with before, uh, Joe. Um, it's just going to be a great night for us. And I'm happy for, for the little step up that I've got in Espinosa. But, uh, I think it's coming at the right time and I'm fully <laughs> going to be getting the win on here. Saturday. Now he, his record, he's had more knockouts than you've had fights as a pro. Does the step up and the experience that Alexander brings bring any pressure or nerves to you that you haven't experienced before? Um, it might add a bit of pressure, but I think um, any fighter would say every fighter getting in the ring has got pressure on them. So we're, we're used to that, do you know what I mean? We've, we've been training all our lives and fighting all our lives, and every time we're getting in the ring, there's always pressure on us to get the W. So. There's um, might be a little bit, little bit of other pressure, but the uh, experience of having the amateurs throughout the amateur game, whether it's fighting in major tournaments, World Series, boxing, uh, going away to the camps of Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Russia, America, all over the world, sparring hundreds and hundreds of rounds. It's um, all of that why I'm headlining my first bill in my fifth fight and I'm stepping up to ten rounds against an experienced opponent in Espinosa. So, yeah, it's, um, I think it's come at the right time. Now, you mentioned, and we spoke to him earlier, your little brother Joe is on the undercard. How good is that, the fact that he's on your undercard, your headline is, it's a family affair and it's in Liverpool? Yeah, this is our, I think, our third night together, this, and um, obviously my first top of the bill. So, it's, um, 
we train throughout the weeks, the past few weeks we're training together, eating together, um, doing our weights together, running together, and then obviously we're fighting on the same night together, you know what I mean? So once we both get the win Saturday, it's uh, just just happy times, good times, and there's plenty more of these nights to come for all of us, all of us who are, who are fighting. Joe said that he gets more nervous for you fighting. Is it the same as you get more nervous for his fight? Yeah, yeah, probably. It's like it's a, um, probably a different kind of nerves. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't say scared nerves, but it's just it's like nerves you can't control because you scared I can't get in the ring and <coughs> and I'm like Joe, but for my nerves, I'm in control of them and obviously he used them to my advantage and he switched me on and he get me to get me sharp and I get in the ring. Have you prepared differently for this fight as you're stepping up to 10 rounds for the first time? You're headlining, it's a very, very experienced opponent. Is, is training camp been different for this? Um, I wouldn't say it's so much different, Ali, but I'd just say a few more rounds of sparring. Obviously building up the rounds now, aren't I? But we, in our gym, we, we, we just like, I've been in our gym now 16 years and I'm still learning something new every day, every week and just getting better and better and perfecting my game, perfecting my craft and it's um, I just seen in our gym we've got a good few super bantams feathers a very bantams. competitive stable <laughs> so like we've got good sparring do you know what I mean and uh, sparring's went well we had good sparring partners for this camp and um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to Saturday now first 10 rounds so yeah even though I'm not looking for it to go 10 but you know it's uh, if it goes the distance then we're ready for it and just a word on the fact that it's here in the Olympia, you know, we're here now, we can see the, the, the staggered seating. It's a sold out, sold out place on Saturday night. The atmosphere is going to be something special. Yeah, yeah, I um, actually never boxed in the Olympia. I don't think um, our job was either, so it's, uh, it's another one on the list and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it because when I've, when I've been here for boxing shows in the past, the atmosphere has been unbelievable. And I think this, this is up there with one of the best cards that's been in here for a while, so Hopefully all the crowd gets behind every scout so that's fighting and um, pushes us on to get that win and the atmosphere is going to be unbelievable. Sam, this main event, you know, it's a, it's a step up for Peter and it's the first time in headline. It's going to be a good event. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Espinosa is going to bring it. I've, um, I've been watching him. He's going to bring it. He's going to bring a test to Peter. But I don't, I don't believe it's just when Peter's going to win a world title. I believe it's how many weight divisions he's going to win world titles in. I think he's that special. I think he's a generational talent. And I expect him to come through the fight with flying colours on Saturday. And he'll be fighting for titles and packing these are arenas out for many years to come. Before we finish this, uh, just a prediction for Saturday, how you feel the fight is going to go. And any final words for your opponent, Peter? What do we do with our technology? Eh? No, le daré de todo lo mío, todo lo que he aprendido, lo que he estado entrenando, lo voy a demostrar ese día y voy a salir con la victoria. He's not going to say what round, but he said it's all going to be about him and he's going to be the winner. Do you think you'll stop Peter McGuire on Saturday night? Cow. No. No, creo que vamos a recorrer los 10 rounds y vamos a hacer una buena pelea. He's just promising a good fight. Um, Peter, how, final word on how you feel the fight is going to go, what results going to be, and any final words for Alexandra? Uh, just a one-shot fight, me and him loads him, not hitting me much, and um, yeah, just, just I'm going to win, and I hope his training camp's gone well, and good luck to him, because uh, he's going to need it Saturday night. Well, that is going to be a good night, Saturday night, make sure, if you've not got tickets because it is sold out, you tune in and watch live and free on quibellum.com. It starts from 6pm local time. Before we finish, we're just going to get the main event and the co-main event to face off. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.